In this training byte, we will connect the building blocks that we had created in the previous training bytes. As always, for more detailed instructions, please go to support.cadence.com, where you can access the lab and training course that will guide you through the Secrety Topology Workbench tool with System SI for parallel bus and serial link analysis. Click on the connection port to the right of the controller block. Move your mouse cursor to the trace block and click on the connection port on the left of the trace block. Notice that the ground nets have already been connected for you. Click on the auto connect button of the connection definition form. Click on the net match radio button and click OK. If the nets of the controller and the traces have been properly named to match, then the auto connect will connect them for you. This is case sensitive, so ensuring that the net names are exactly matched will streamline the connection flow. Repeat this process with the remaining blocks. Note that when connecting the trace block to the tuning block, the DQ nets are not named exactly the same. However, they are only mismatched by their capitalization or lack thereof, so we can auto-connect these blocks by filling in the form with a capital DQ star connecting to a lowercase DQ star. The tool will now automatically connect these nets. Also note that the strobe nets are mismatched between the trace block and tuning block. You can manually connect these nets by clicking on the desired net to be connected in both columns, then right-clicking on one of them to open a menu, and clicking on the connect command. After connecting all of the blocks in the topology, you want to ensure that everything was connected properly. Click on the Check Connectivity option in the Workflow pane. Click on the Check button to start the connectivity check. If everything is properly connected, there will be a blue line seen under the Connection column, and you can examine the S parameters for each connected net by clicking on the green icon under the Frequency Response column. This concludes the connection of the blocks in our topology. Please refer to the additional training bytes in this channel to continue learning about the Segrity Topology Workbench tool with System SI.